Today, we're going to be testing out a new Claude to speech to text plugin. Now, currently, for example, I use Whisperflow. So for example, I pay for this tool and if I type in something like this and I'm just talking, it will actually translate what I'm saying into text. But the problem is when you're doing that as good as it is, like this is like a paid subscription, right? And if I'm paying for Claude and everything else, surely there's a way you can do this inside Claude. So actually what you can do, according to this, and we're going to test out today, you can see here on this post from Jared Watts, so shout out to Jared for creating this. You can see here, you can go from hotkey to record mic, to whisper, to type, right? So we're going to test this out and we're going to go from here and we're going to start using this. All right. So here is the GitHub. I'll put the link inside the AI success lab if you want to test this out. So let me go into the AI success lab, January. And if you want to get the notes from today, we'll plug in the link to the tool and resources and notes from today as we go along, right? All right, so you can see an example right here. So you just have Claude code running. And the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you have Claude running. So you can either go to terminal or you can use on Claude desktop, I assume, because Claude desktop has the code tab now as well. And then you're just going to type in Claude here, make sure you've got Claude running. We're going to hit yes, continue. And now we can start copying and basing these instructions directly into the terminal here and just seeing if it works or not. Sometimes these things don't work, but we'll test it out and we'll learn together, right? And so here we're going to type in the prompt. It's going to install that for me, see if that works. All right, so that's installed now. And then we should be able to run this as well. Let's try it out. We'll probably have to give some permissions as well to get this running, but you can see it's being set up. The cool thing about this is like, you don't need to be able to code to do this. You just, you copy and paste your instructions, right? It's pretty simple. And it might have to install a few Python dependencies to get started with that. In the meantime, let's put the setup instructions inside the AI success lab, which by the way, it's a community that connects you with, I think we've got 46,300 members inside there. So make sure you check it out now. Anyway, let's go back to this. So we've got the terminal now setting this up. Now, if you're wondering, okay, how does this work? What is it, etc. So Claude SGT, which we're installing now, gives you voice directly into Claude, right? So you don't need to type anymore, which saves a lot of time. So here's what you get. You get local processing. It's quite fast. You can push the talk. So you just press a button and then it records cross platform. So it works across Mac, Linux and Windows, which is also super useful. And then also is focused on privacy. So no audio or text is sent to external services. If you, obviously, if you're using something like Whisperflow, then that's going to be running on their services and their server and everything, right? And then from here, once we've set this up, which we've got installing on the right hand side, we just press control shift and space to start recording. The audio gets captured from our microphone. We press control shift and space to stop recording. And then that's going to start turning it into text. And then we should be able to use that for input. So let's wait for this to load. Here we go. So you can see here, it's now asking to set up and allow the settings, which we're going to do. So I'm just going to allow that. We may have to run a new terminal instance once we've set that up. Hello, are you working? So let's see if this works. We can test it out now. So I think we'll have to restart this now. We're just going to terminate that and then we'll run it again. There we go. Boom shakalaka. Look at that. So it actually translated me saying that. So I think we'll have to restart this now. We're just going to terminate that and then we'll run it again. The only annoying thing that I would say is maybe I wouldn't like to press three buttons at the same time, control, shift and space every single time. But the fact that it works is pretty cool. And that was fairly easy to set up. We set that up in what, a couple of minutes, ready to go. And again, like the great thing about this is we don't have to use Whisperflow anymore, right? We can use this plugin directly. So I'm just going to test if this works. Let's see. Boom. Look at that. All right. So it's like magic. You can now, you've basically got a version that this is Whisperflow that I'm using right now. And this is Claude code that I'm using right now. All right. So that's the translation from Whisperflow. And that's the translation from Claude code. It didn't seem to recognize the word Claude, which is strange. Maybe that's just my English accent, but you can see the rest of the sentence was fine. And that worked perfectly, didn't it? I wonder if that's rinsing the credits. That's what, the only thing I want to know here is, is this using a lot of credits to, to run the plugin? Either way, it's really cool and easy to set up. So I'm going to take that. Just going to go into Claude here. And we'll ask it using the new plugin, how it works. So if I use this plugin, does it use up a lot of credits on Claude code? And then also when I'm using this, can I change the hotkey? Yeah, so you can see it's not quite perfect. I think you'd want to add your own vocabulary to this. So for example, you see how it says, cool code instead of claw code. And then when I actually said hockey, I actually changed it to hockey. So just be careful with that. So let's try this. I'm going to run this command, go into the config file. 
And then you can change from the default control shift and space to any key combination that you prefer. Asper asks, do you prefer using cursor or do you prefer using Claude Code for creating apps and that sort of thing? My personal favorite is Claude Code. And then I would say after that, probably anti-gravity. I think anti-gravity is super powerful. I would go with Claude Code for sure. It's the best. It's easiest to set up. And also, I think if you're non-technical like me, I'm not very technical then it's much better. So I also want to switch off the sound effects because that's super annoying too. I'm going to change that to option. So I'm going to change that to, yeah, we'll change the hotkey to F9. And then for the sound effects, we'll turn them off, submit the answers. Asper is also asking about how I create the YouTube videos for AI avatars. So if you want to learn how I create AI avatar videos, go to the AI Profit Boardroom or go to AIProfitBoardroom.com. And then if you want to see my full tutorial on how I do that exactly, go to the playbook here and you can see how we create the screen shares for our AI avatar videos. So we've got a full video tutorial right here and also a step-by-step -step process that we gradually tweak and improve every single month. It will keep improving that process as well. And then also you can see our AI avatar videos right here with the SAP. If you want to know something really crazy, I was looking at it this morning. This is one of 10, which is basically my channel that looks at which videos perform the best, right? So if we go here, for example, and you look at my recent videos that perform the best with a six or 10K views, you can see they're all avatar videos, right? So all my best performing videos these days are avatar videos. It's pretty crazy and scary. I can't outperform myself. I can't outperform the AI version of myself. So that's inside the AI Puffer Warden if you want to learn how we create videos like these. So we've changed the recording button to F9. And then we have also switched off the sound effects, which is great. So let's just test this out again now. Hey, are you working? Yeah, let's just test this out. And then if you want to switch it back, we can go inside here and then we'll switch it back to control shift at space and we'll put the sound effects back on. It actually feels a bit weird if you don't have the sound effects on, to be honest with you. You don't know if it's working or not. If you look at Whisper Flow, what it will have is usually when you run it, it will show you whether it's recording or not. So this should be working again now. Yeah, there we go. It's not quite as smooth as Whisper Flow, but it's a decent alternative. And again, it is free and it is open source. So, you know, amazing stuff by Jared. Shout out to Jared. Thanks so much for watching today. If you want to get access to all the video notes, plus the video tutorial, the resources and the installation setup, you can get that inside the AI Success Lab, which connects you with 46,300 members like you can see. It comes with all of my best trainings, templates, tips, workflows, as you can see. If you go to the January section, you can see our full tutorial from today, along with everything else inside here. And then also inside, if you haven't already checked it out, check out the AI Profit Boredom community. This is an amazing community for winners who really want to learn and grow and scale their business with AI. So if you want all of my best AI automation workflows, if you want to scale your team, if you want to give your team like the best workflows for scaling a business with AI, then check out the AI Profit Boardroom. Like you can see, you can post inside here, get help, get technical support whenever you need it. You can jump on live coaching calls. You can go inside the classroom and you get a six week AI automation masterclass that takes you from complete beginner to expert in just five weeks. Plus shows you how to build your first AI agent in under five minutes. Top of that, you'll get my best playbook on exactly how to automate AI avatar videos, Twitter automations, everything else. And additionally, you will learn, for example, how I get more clients for my agency. You'll be able to watch back the coaching call recordings. You can see our AI SEO automations and how to build a YouTube AI channel in under six weeks. So that's all inside the AI Profit Warden. Feel free to get it. Link in the comments description. Asprey says, are the titles also AI generated? I know that Insane is used a lot. We just test what's working each week and then we recalibrate, right? So for example, when we're doing videos, we look at which titles are performing the best. And then in the future, we recreate more videos that work well, right? So we look at our past performance. We're like, okay, we'll do more of what's working. We'll do less of what's not working. And then we'll go from there. And like, for example, when we use insane in the titles and stuff like that, honestly, I don't want to. Like, it's not something I want to do at all. But if that's what the people want to see, then that's what matters most. And when I look at the click-through rates, I can see what the people want. And we just deliver based on that. So that's how we figure out what our titles are for YouTube and other videos yeah so like everything that we show on screen right the way that we do that is quite a complex process and what i actually did because i don't do the editing myself i actually got my video team to edit and basically create a video tutorial inside the air profit board and showing how we do it so for me like i can't really tell you like the full process step by step but that's why we have the training video inside the air profit board that breaks it down for you 
based on what our editors do. So if you want to learn that, it's inside the AI Profit Boardroom. And it's probably the fastest way and the best way to create AI avatar videos based on what's working for me. So feel free to check that out.